Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, our uh, our course here on getting started with crypto trading using algorithms. Welcome. Uh, just waiting for a few more people to join in, get connected. Um, it's great to see you guys here. Thank you very much for joining. If you were here uh, in our last week, uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we finally figured it out this week. So it's fantastic. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Um, today, our discussion is going to be about getting started with crypto trading using algorithms. Uh, we have a lot of really cool stuff to show you today. Um, so action packed. I don't know how I'm going to fit it all into uh, a reasonable amount of time, um, but I'm going to show you kind of the highlights and some of the really cool stuff that we've been working on. All right. Here's our agenda for today. Um, first and foremost, uh, it's, this is really about you guys. So I'd really like to learn about who's on the call. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go through that in a second. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, your instructor. Um, we're going to do an introduction. I'm going to tell you about a little bit about our company and what we do. Then we're going to talk about algorithms and why we are doing algorithms in the crypto space. I'm assuming if you're here, you probably already have some idea of this. But we'll go into detail. Uh, then we'll talk about some companies that use algorithms. There's a lot of really good ones making a ton of money in this space. There's lots and lots and lots of money going around here. Um, it's everyone from Citadel to Renaissance to all these different companies making just a killing uh, using algorithms in stocks, but also in crypto as well. Um, these guys have been around for a long time and our giant company is just minting cash. Uh, so we'll talk about that a bit. We'll talk about our technology and then uh, the fun stuff. We'll go into demos showing you um, some of our technology and some of the stuff that we are able to do, All right? Uh, we're also gonna talk about our full course uh, in case you're interested in learning really the details of all this kind of stuff. And the question is here, access to the slides. Yes, Tony, I'll give you access. I'm gonna send that right here in the chat. All right, so uh, feel free to follow along. Um, you guys can see the chat there. By the way, I'm gonna be answering any questions in the chat. As we go through, I have this open in my second window here. You might see me looking to the side. Uh, that's me looking at the chat and what's going on here as well. All right. So thanks again for joining. Thank you, Tony. No problem. So let's get to know you guys a little bit first, right? Because this is really what it's all about. Um, so uh, who is on this call, right? So if you guys could type out into the chat, um, what is your occupation, right? What do you guys do for a living, right? Uh, do you know how to program, right? Um, is this something that you're brand new to? Have you been coding for many years, right? Uh, and how much crypto experience do you have? How long have you been trading this stuff? How long have you been doing this, right? Um, so let me uh, answer these questions first. I'll do it verbally. You guys can type it into the chat, please. Um, but uh, my occupation, so I'm the CEO of Lumi Wealth. Uh, we've been running this company. I started this about three years ago. Uh, we've had a tremendous success in this company. We've grown quite a bit. Um, our, you know, our students have done some really, really amazing things. Uh, we've expanded from just algorithmic trading to doing this for crypto. We're doing blockchain stuff. And we're soon to be uh, going to be launching uh, something like a hedge fund. Not exactly a hedge fund, but something very similar that I think you guys will really love as well. Um, so that's my occupation, uh, CEO of Lumi Wealth. Right? Um, before that, I used to work at Voyager. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, do I know how to program? Yes, I do know how to program. I've been coding for well over 20 years. Um, I started when I was really, really small, uh, like a 12 year old kid. Uh, I was one of those nerdy kids in the playground that uh, loved to go home and code. Um, whatever, got me where, where I am today. It was uh, actually a very fun thing to do. And how much crypto experience do you have? Um, I got into crypto markets probably in, I wanna say 2016, 2017. So I got in pretty early. I've made quite a bit of money in this. Um, I feel like I have a, a, a seems, what seems like a knack of selling at the at the peak and buying at the bottom. <laughs> um, uh, I've done that over the past two cycles now. I actually made quite a bit of money in crypto. Um, you know, things have crashed now. I don't. I sold a lot of mine, and I'm actually buying back in right now. I think it's a great time to buy right now in crypto. We might not be at the bottom, but I think right now is a very very good time to buy in especially with Ethereum launching uh, version 2.0. I think there's a lot of a lot of potential here. Uh, but yeah, I've been in, this, in the market for a while, so I've seen these boom and bust cycles a few times. Um, and it's, uh, it's definitely a good perspective to have. But let me read what you guys wrote. Um, so Gregory, 
Greg says, uh, Greg, life, health, spec. I uh, did some crypto for a while and want to get better at it. Awesome. Cool. Thank you for joining, Greg. That's very cool. Um, Jose, uh, Jose, I recognize you as well. Welcome. Um, I know you're trying to join last week, so I'm glad you're able to make it this week as well. I know we had some technical difficulties last week, uh, but thanks for joining again. Um, your senior IT operations manager, basic to intermediate Python. That's great. I know you've been getting a lot better at yours. Um, have been playing with some Python code with Bi Binance API. Awesome. I think I have some ways for you to do this a lot easier, by the way, if you're black playing with the Binance API, there's a lot simpler ways of doing this either through CCXD or through LumiBot. I think it could save you quite a bit of time and energy there. Um, Tony, uh, thanks for writing in here as well. Uh, IT sales. Awesome. You're probably making some, uh, some good money in that. I have a lot of friends that work in IT sales. Um, haven't coded in years since college, cough 19 years ago. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, already signed up for the course starting on the 27th. Awesome, Tony. That's great. Looking forward to seeing you there. Um, crypto and Forex Trader. Uh, had and EA developed, not finished. Um, not sure what you mean by that. I think that's a typo. Uh, would like to finish and understand the language so I can maintain an update into the future. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Great to see you here, Tony. And it's going to be really cool having you in the course as well. Uh, Wes, uh, <laughs> I could tell you're an engineer immediately, by the way, Wes, uh, printing this out as a, as a dictionary. <laughs> I love it. This is hilarious. Um, name, Wes, job, data engineer, level mid, uh, crypto tenure, five years. I love it. I love it. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, definitely could tell you're a coder. I love it. Um, CF Hutton, uh, entrepreneur. No programming experience, uh, intermediate crypto experience, very cool, options trading experience. So it sounds like you have a lot of finance experience, uh, CF. Sorry, I don't know what your first name is. Um, but, uh, you know, when you take some of these courses, there's no programming uh, experience necessary. We'll walk you through a lot of that. Of course, if you have that programming experience, you're going to get a lot further, a lot faster. Um, but you are able to retake a lot of our courses, so you're able to actually... Um, you know, even if you don't have these pro this program experience, I've, I've been able to teach a lot of people to be able to code and actually build out a uh, really cool bot. So welcome and thank you very much for being here. Uh, Bratton, uh, working on crypto fintech uh, with pseudomated strategies as the one option. So I'm, I'm clicking on your link here. Crypto pad, AI driven crypto investment platform. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of these around the internet. Uh, some of them are better than others. Uh, what we're basically teaching you is how to build this sort of thing from scratch. Uh, well, actually, not really from scratch, um, but teaching you how to build a custom version of something like this. I've seen many like this around. Uh, so it's very cool. Awesome. Thanks for joining, Bratton. Cool. Okay. So feel free to keep writing, guys. Um, I'll, I'm going to keep reading them off as, uh, as you post there. But thank you very much for the participation. It's great. Uh, so now let me uh, tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, here's a write-up about myself if you want to read this. Um, I, th I think I have an updated version of this. That's okay. Um, to, to summarize, though, um, I've been coding for uh, well over 20 years. I have a master's in finance uh, from like a top-tier school. Um, it's a school in Canada, uh, so I paid a heck of a lot less for tuition, but it is an Ivy League school in a sense. Um, so I had that. I worked on Wall Street for a period of time, uh, worked in mortgage finance, and then got into a crypto space and really haven't looked back. Um, if you guys are familiar with the app Voyager, um, I was one of the early stage employees in that company. I think uh, employee number four, number five. Uh, so if you ever traded with the Voyager app, um, thank you very much for being a customer. Um, it was something that uh, when I joined the company was just an idea. Uh, we sat in a WeWork and talked it out and figured out how to build this thing, which was not very easy, but we had some very good team members together. I, hi I helped hire a, a lot of the senior team there. Um, it's funny, I, I we, we spoke to someone recently that they're interviewing at Voyager and actually know some of the higher ups. It's pretty funny uh, to know that they're that they're going through that sort of situation now. Um, but yeah, so that was uh, that was uh, the company I was at before Voyager. It's a Coinbase competitor. If you've never heard of it, um, last I checked, it was worth about half a billion dollars. Although uh, crypto is kind of tanking everything across the board, it was worth 1.5 billion not so long ago, but um, Believe me, after going through this uh, boom and bust cycle several times and knowing the CEO, I personally think it's a great investment. 
Um, I'm putting a lot more of my own money into Voyager. I think it's a great company to invest in. Still very nice to start a company as a unicorn. Um, what else can I say? I've been programming for 20 years. Um, you know, I know like every programming language on, under, the, <laughs> under the sun, Java, JavaScript, C, C++, Ruby on Rails, whatever you want to say. Um, I've done them all. It's been a long time. So thank you very much and, and welcome, guys. So let's talk a little bit about um, our company and kind of what we do and what we're about, right? So first of all, what is Lumi Wealth, right? So Lumi Wealth is a company that we started uh, about three years ago now, right? We've grown quite a bit. Um, our, company, our, our company has been, you know, quadrupling in size every year, uh, thanks to some very happy customers and things going really well um, in terms of our technology and building things out. Um, what we do is really, we're all about uh, how do we help people make more money using technology? Right? How do we help people invest better using technology? Right? So we've really niched it down. We spend a lot of time on crypto. We spend a lot of time on stock markets. We spend a lot of time on uh, building trading robots. Right? So we have courses around that. We'll teach you how to build uh, trading robots that can trade options, that can trade stocks, that can trade crypto. Um, we'll teach you how to program in Solidity to build smart contracts, your own NFTs and your own coins. Um, we'll teach you how to build Web3 applications. Uh, and another course that we're launching very recently is how to build your own hedge fund, uh, trading as a business. It's a really cool course. It's, I think that'd be very interesting. Uh, we have a, an event on that later this week. If you guys want to join, you just have to navigate around this site here, lumiwealth.circle.so. There's going to be some really cool stuff there. Um, really good instructor for that. Uh, so that's what we do. We do a lot of education. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're also going to be running a hedge fund very soon. We've created some very cool technology over the years in teaching people, um, you know, some some strategies that have really uh, made some very good money for some of our students. And now we want to actually bring that out to you guys. So we're going to be launching a hedge fund probably within the next six months. I get asked this all the time. Um, there's some some chats coming in, so I'm going to read this in a second. Um, but I get asked this all the time. You know, you're teaching this class. You know, you know, why are you teaching this class and not doing it yourself? Well, that's your answer. We're actually going to be doing this. We're going to be running a hedge fund very soon, uh, before the end of the year. So watch out for that as well. Um, there's some questions here. So need the Lumi Wealth algo to help me get from Voyager Explorer to Navigator tier. <laughs> Sounds great, Wes. That's that's awesome. Um, Tony says, do you teach arbitrage or creating bots to do arbitrage? Um, honestly, the amount of people asking this question is kind of ridiculous. Um, um, we don't explicitly teach it in the, the, the crypto class. However, the amount of people that are asking this question uh, makes me want to add it in. Um, and to be honest with you, I, I was speaking to a hedge fund uh, last week about building an arbitrage bot for them. So I'm actually quite familiar with the space. We did it in, in Voyager, so I'm very familiar with how to do this. If you're interested, we can add that to the course, or actually you're already part of the course. We can get on a call. We can talk about how to build that sort of thing. Um, arbitrage, depending on what you're doing, can be either very difficult or very easy um, before regulations. Um, well, I mean, regulations right now, they don't stop high frequency trading. That's arbitrage, right? That's still around. Um, so I don't know if regulations are really going to kick in too much there. Uh, some things maybe like front running. There are some things that will probably eventually will get banned if it's possible. I mean, crypto is, is kind of hard to regulate. <laughs> it's worldwide. Um, but uh, but yeah, if, if you're interested in arbitrage, we could definitely have that conversation. There's a lot of ways to do it. Um, and actually, I'm going to be having a conversation tomorrow with, um, uh, this, uh, with some friends about an MEV strategy that does arbitrage. Um, this thing was, is really, really cool. Um, apparently can do like thousand percent returns uh, on a single trade which is crazy mind-blowing not easy things to do but really a lot of money to be made there so i'm, I'm very excited about having that conversation tomorrow because we're putting together a team to build that um but yeah if you're interested in arbitrage absolutely we can have that discussion if you're taking our live class it's going to be uh you know just jump on a call with me or we could do it in the course absolutely i think it's a great great idea okay so uh that's lumi wealth and that's your questions there um, I also want to point out uh, to check us out on YouTube. I'm going to put this link into the chat. Um, we have a lot of really good content on our YouTube channel. A lot of this stuff is free. We have interviews with top people in the field. 
We have recordings of all these different sessions that we do with different people. We have demos of some of our different strategies. We only have four in here. I was hoping to add in more, but it's been um, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's been 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 very busy uh, to do this. But uh, here's a couple of demos with a few of our strategies. There's interviews with different people in the crypto space. Some hedge fund managers. If you want to learn about that, uh, so definitely check. Or uh, oh, there's also testimonials and reviews with some of our past students. Um, so check out uh, all this stuff here. There's really a lot of good content on here that, that we add. And also make sure you subscribe. I feel like one of those YouTube people. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, but but actually, for real, uh, make sure you subscribe and like and hit this bell button uh, because we do add a lot of content on a regular basis um, and a lot of really good free stuff for you to learn from and make money with. Uh, so make sure you join our YouTube channel. That link is right there. Or you can just search for us. Uh, uh, Lumi Wealth inside of uh, YouTube. It's pretty easy for us to find, for you to find Lumi Wealth, right? And uh, just click on us here. We're over a thousand subscribers now, which is great. Uh, we've been growing pretty fast, so make sure you check us out there. All right, um, that's our YouTube. Also, check us out on Discord. All right, Discord. If you guys are not familiar with it, it's kind of like Slack. This is it right here. It's a chat, right? Lots of really smart people on here. Um, we have channels on crypto where people talk about different investment strategies and sometimes just fun things to watch. Um, <laughs> you know, we got some great stuff here. I was posting in here earlier today. Uh, you could talk to some of our alumni in here, um, what they've been up to and what they've been building. Um, th this, this gets pretty active on Tuesdays when we have our discussion hour together. Uh, we also have uh, private channels when you join one of our classes. So. Uh, here's some of our private channels in here that people can get like uh, specific information about. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of information here. So make sure you join us on Discord. It's a great community to be a part of, a lot of great people to learn from. Uh, and also you can see some of our past students and what they've done and, and whatnot. So definitely join into our Discord and, and see, um, you know, how, uh, how we can help you out. Because uh, I'd love to help you guys out. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because it's no longer applicable. So at the end of webinar, we don't do that anymore. Um, and then also, uh, and you guys have already been doing this, but please make sure that you ask questions throughout the presentation. It's really good when this is interactive. Um, I don't want to just be talking at you guys. I'd rather have this be a back and forth dialogue. So if you have any questions about anything, you're wondering what do you mean by that, or you have some other burning question that you have, please feel free to put it in the chat. Um, love answering your questions. Love it when this is interactive. All right. I'm going to bold this because it's important. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's uh, that's getting all that stuff out of the way. The introductions. Let's jump into the meat of it, right? So, why do we want to use algorithms to trade crypto to start with, right? So, this is a course all about how do you build algorithms or trading robots, right? Robots to trade crypto automatically, you know. I've had some crazy things come up sometimes. Um, for some reason, people think this is illegal. I don't understand why some people think this is illegal. Maybe because there's so much money to be made. Honestly, there's a lot of money to be made in this space. Uh, so some people actually do think this is illegal. Um, the truth is that if you're trading either crypto or stocks or options, you are actually at a significant disadvantage if you're not using a robot. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but something like 90% of stock market transactions are done using robots. This is not human beings that you're trading against. So if you think that you're buying stock from a human, you are not doing that. Same thing with crypto. Crypto is a lot of bots already. I don't have the statistics specifically on crypto, but I'm willing to bet that they're just as high or pretty damn close uh, to the way that it is with stocks. There is a, already a lot of bots out there. And if you're not doing this, you're actually at a disadvantage, right? Um, let's talk about the advantages, though. Let's talk about the advantages of using algorithms to trade crypto, right? Uh, so first of all, um, unlike stocks, uh, crypto is a 24-7 market, right? This is open nonstop. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to sleep, right? It's nice to be able to sit down and sleep. Um, you know, if you, if you didn't pay attention this weekend, for example, there's a huge crash in the crypto markets. I mean, Ethereum is down like 20% in 24 hours. You know, if you slept through that or if you had some important meetings or if you're traveling or something like that, you would have missed that, right? And it's both an opportunity 
and a risk mitigation strategy, right? Like if you had a bot that was trading crypto for you, you could have a bot that automatically said, oh, if crypto falls more than 3%, just get out of it for a little bit, right? Just sell it and leave for a bit and wait until it calms down. Very simple thing to do. That would have saved you a lot of money today. Honestly, this whole crash, you would have saved a lot of money all the way down. Um, you could have also had a bot that did the opposite. You could have had a bot that shorted the market, right? And you could have seen the fact that Celsius is blowing up. That would have been all over the news. I'll show you guys, actually. Uh, I just taught our, our recent class how to do this. Have a bot that reads news, right? Have a bot that reads news and see if, like, when we find, like, really big things happening. You can have a bot that's actually picking out these things and seeing, oh, wow, something really negative happened and the technicals are going straight down, well, why don't we short the market? You could have actually made a lot of money this weekend off of this drop in the crypto prices, right? So crypto is 24 seven, it's really hard for you to pay attention to nonstop. You know, you wanna have your weekend, you wanna sleep. Uh, a bot doesn't need to sleep, it doesn't want to go out partying on a Saturday night or whatever, um, you know, you're, you're gonna have a bot that can actually do these things for you non-stop 24 7 right it's a huge advantage reading the news looking at technicals all that kind of stuff um second of all um there are thousands of assets in crypto right i mean i don't know about you but um i mean my guess is you guys are probably just trading a handful of, of coins right you're probably trading bitcoin ethereum maybe litecoin maybe solana right those are kind of the typical ones you're probably trading just the big ones but there's a lot of small ones out there where there's huge amounts of activity, right? Um, I could tell you one, Guard. I don't know if you guys have seen this, by the way. Let me show you a really fun chart. I don't know what it's been doing lately. Um, guard in market cap. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember where I was looking at the, um, not Guard, no, not Guardian, Guard. It's probably crashed a lot since this back here guard price whoops keep doing this the market has on track um i'm trying to think where i have this either way anyways uh, i'm not going to look for this because because you know we're, we're on a live thing here but if you guys ever looked at some of these coins like this like for example guard um, these are things that fly under a lot of people's radar, right? Like guard coin is one of those things that's up something like a thousand percent in the past, like three months. And, you know, how would you know that there's so many coins out there? So many freaking coins out there that honestly, it's so difficult to keep track of all this stuff, right? Like, how are you supposed to know? Oh, wow. There's this huge breakout thing happening and it, everyone's making a ton of money here. Right, but it's not public knowledge. You don't know about this stuff because something so small, right? If you have a bot, you could go around, you could actually search through ten thousands or tens of thousands of different coins and look at their technicals and look at all these different things and actually make these different types of investments. This is very hard for a human being to do. There's just way too much stuff out there. But if you have a bot, it makes it a lot easier to do it. Right. Uh, second of all, and this is to do with your arbitrage as well, by the way, uh, Tony. Um, there's hundreds of exchanges out there as well, right? We have we have KuCoin, we have Binance, we have Coinbase, we have uh, Coinbase Pro, um, we have BitMEX, we have Bybit, we have, you know, like there's every, every different kind of iteration of Bit and Buy and all those kind of things. There's hundreds of these things. There's so many different exchanges out there. And uh, to be frank with you, there's a lot of opportunities between exchanges, right? So... We're talking about these arbitrage opportunities you know if the price is one price on kucoin it could be a different price on on coinbase and you can actually make money swapping those things like it's it's kind of hard to do this with bitcoin to be honest with you but a lot of the smaller coins you know but let's say bitcoin back in the day i'll tell i'll give you a story when i used to work at voyager something in like 2017 when or 2018 when we first put this together we built something called a smart order router where it will automatically look at exchanges and liquidity providers and try to give you the best possible price when you buy. So meaning the lowest possible price when you're buying it and the highest possible price, the best price when you sell it, right? And at that point in time, when we built this thing in 2017, 2018, 
you can literally go into Bitcoin and just hit buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, and just make money. Um, it was, it's kind of ridiculous, right? Um, I'll tell you when I was there and I was working at Voyager, we built this thing and I was sitting there literally just with this app, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, this before we launched it, by the way, uh, when we launched it, we figured out to make money off this, right? And we kept that profit. Um, but I mean, if you built your own software, you could have made this profit yourself. And this is before the, the thing launched. I literally was able to do this back and forth. I made something like a thousand dollars sitting at my desk, just hitting buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. The only reason why I stopped doing it was because my CEO, uh, Steve Rowe, like still the CEO right now of, uh, of Voyager, <laughs> um, uh, was basically yelling at me. He's like, Rob, get back to work. Stop doing this. You know. Uh, but to be honest with you, I think I made more money that day just hitting that button over and over and over again than I did um, actually doing my job. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities there in doing like the arbitrage and that sort of thing. It's a little harder to do in the big coins now, um, like that, like big uh, Binance or Bitcoin and that sort of thing. Uh, but in the smaller coins, there's a lot of really good opportunities, and we can talk about that if you guys want. Um, so Tony says, can a bot capture new coins that just hit the market? Absolutely, yeah, you could definitely do that. There's a lot of different ways to do that sort of thing to capture new coins. Uh, we could have that discussion if you want. Basically, you need to figure out what coins this exchange has. There's different ways to obtain that information. Um, and yes, absolutely, you could do that. It's a great question, Tony, for sure. Um, Wes asks, will Voyager expose an API for algo trading? That would be amazing. Um, that's a good question. Um, they, so, okay, let's put it this way. When I was there, or actually, let's put this. There is an API. There, there always has been an API, right? From the very beginning, we built an API that has a documentation that's available to use, right? The only thing is that Voyager does not provide this publicly, right? So there is a way for you to work with the API, right? Um, the documentation is not available publicly. I know we uh, gave this to a lot of enterprise clients. It is just not in the business model of what Voyager is trying to do. That's the CEO's job to do that. It's, you know, I, I could talk to him and tell him you should do this, but you'll probably just ignore me because he's trying to do, uh, trying to focus on um, really our app and making things money and making money off of that. Uh, but there is an API and absolutely you can trade with it, right? Uh, the question is, are, are you going are you willing to put in the time to figure out how to do it, right? Uh, I mean, if I had to sit down and go through it, I, I helped build it, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, we could figure it out, you know, within a reasonable amount of time. I just don't know if it makes sense to work with a with a company that's not publicly trying to do this. Um, although I could tell you the next time that I meet with Steve, the, the CEO, um, which I hope so next time I go back to New York City, uh, I moved out of New York, I moved to, back to Toronto, my hometown, um, but after like the whole pandemic thing. Um, but next time I see Steve, I'm definitely gonna have that conversation with him because I'm gonna try to convince him to invest in our company. <laughs> so. We're definitely going to have that conversation. I can tell you that for sure. Um, cool. Okay. So hundreds of coins, thousands of assets, 24 hours, right? Uh, another really important thing about crypto is that trends can change really, really, really fast. Um, and if anything, uh, and it's funny, it's like every single time I do this presentation, there's always some crazy thing happening in crypto. Uh, that's because it's, that's always happening, right? It's like you blink and things move by 10%. Um, it could be down 10%. It could be up 10%, you know, some some news comes out and bitcoin wow an hour ago was, was up from an hour ago 10 you know, percent like it moves really really fast and you know if you're in a meeting for work which you know you, you need to make your money or if you know you're doing something else with your life you know on a date or helping your kids or whatever right um i was at my my nephew's uh uh his soccer game this weekend right and during that soccer game um crypto prices moved five percent it's crazy, you know, but that's what happens in this market. And if you have a bot, you could really be paying attention to this. Volatility is your friend. Volatility is your friend when you're a trader. You can make a ton of money off this stuff. Things moving up and down very quickly. You can make a ton of money off that stuff. And if you have a robot doing this for you, you can make lots, lots of money. Uh, there's actually uh, a great article and um, maybe I could even find this. Uh, Bloomberg um, Crypto trading uh, after New York hours. Let's see if I can find this while I'm on a call with you guys. Yeah, there you go. Here's a really interesting article. 
This came out very recently, and this is one example of this. I'll put this into the chat. Most Bitcoin pandemic games gains came while stocks were closed, right? So meaning when you were asleep, right? After the New York Stock Exchange closed, if you were buying at the close and selling at the next open, you would have made 270% just doing that, right? Very nice gains, much, uh, much less risk doing this sort of thing, right? This is a very simple strategy, right? Buying when things close and, and selling when they op when uh, the stock market opens. But this would have been very- resistance level, lots of analysts saying- um, You guys feel free to read this article. It's in the chat. Um, but you know something like this would be very hard to realize if you're trading normally, right? But if you're trading using an algorithm, right? Especially if you're using something like machine learning, it can automatically figure this out for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to be uh, in our class, in our live class, I'm going to be teaching people how to build machine learning algorithms for crypto specifically. And this would be very easy to pick up with a crypto uh, machine learning algorithm. Just make better returns just because you're buying after 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's it. Simple, right? Um, all you need is the data. All you need is to be paying attention to it, right? So trends are changing fast. There's a lot of data out there. There's a lot of money to be made in this space, guys. Um, honestly, I've, it's it's incredible how easy it is to build bots that make money in this space. Um, if you join this course, I'll show you a lot of really cool ones that, um, again, very simple, not crazy stuff that's making tons of cash. It's a new market, right? It's 24 seven. There's thousands of assets, hundreds of exchanges. Things are moving like crazy. These is This is like the perfect opportunity to make money not going to lie. And, you know, using software to do this is fantastic. And I love teaching these classes. I love teaching these classes. You know, we have our own algorithms that we're using to make some money. Um, but teaching these classes is also, you know, helping people come up with new ideas and building new things. I feel like we end up collaborating at the end of all this stuff and we build some really cool stuff. I love teaching these classes because not only uh, is it, I can give you guys some really good information, but I love it when people take this information and build some really cool stuff with it or have some really cool ideas and I help them build that out. It's, this is fascinating. I love doing this kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, as you can tell, exciting about the stuff. Um, so would be happy if, if you guys join our courses. All right. So anyways, so that's uh, some reasons, right? Why I use crypto, uh, why I use algorithms for crypto, right? Um, there's a lot more than just that. Uh, but those are kind of the highlights, right? Um, but you know, it's, don't take my word for it. Right. Um, you know, there, there, I could show you some really, I'm, I'm going to show you actually some really cool stuff, some demos of, of our technology. Um, but there's a lot of companies already making a ton of money in this, right? So probably one of the most prominent hedge funds in the algorithmic trading space in general, right? So these guys have been around for a long time. Uh, they've been around, I think, since the 70s or the 80s, Renaissance Technologies. Okay. Uh, last I heard, they're managing about $110 billion in assets. Uh, it could be a lot more than that. They're very secretive, right? Uh, so they don't share this stuff publicly. And I, I found this number about a year or two ago. Uh, so it could be a lot more than that now. But these guys have done very, very well uh, doing uh, basically algorithm, building algorithms for stocks, for options, for futures, for basically anything financial. They've recently gone to the crypto space as well. Um, I know they're for sure making tons of cash in this, just knowing the people that are there. Um, but yeah, so Renaissance Technology is one of these people. Uh, last I heard, $110 billion in, in, in assets. These guys made 39% on average. Okay, this is average, by the way. This is not the best year they had. This is their average year. Okay, uh, over the past 30 years, it's uncorrelated with the stock market. It's like the stock market does this up and down crazy thing. And there, you know, 2008, you lost half your money, right? 50% down in 2008. So far this year, you're down, you know, 20%, right? Like it's it's volatile. It's crazy all over the place. But in the long run, the stock market makes you 10%, which is why everyone says invest in the stock market. And that's a very smart decision, right? These guys, they don't make 10% a year. They make 39% a year on average. And last I heard, they've only lost money like once in their entire existence over 30 years. It's crazy. <laughs> These guys just do not lose money. They are basically a printing press. And to give you an idea of how much 39% a year is, okay? 
Um, so 10% a year is the average stock market return, okay? 39% is, is their return. That does not mean that they made four times more money. It means that they make four times more money every single year, which with compound interest ends up being significantly more, right? So for example, if you take $1,000 and you put into the stock market at 10% a year, right? So here, I'm gonna fold this actually because this is an important point. $1,000, 10% a year for 30 years, you would have made $17,000 after 30 years, which is great. I mean, this is why they say invest in the stock market. Definitely a good thing. You should put your money in stocks. Absolutely. However, if you had put your that $1,000, not into the stock market, but if you give $1,000 to this company, Renaissance Technologies, 39% a year, it's not four times real money. It's not $17,000 times four. It's $24 million you would have turned it into. $1,000 would have turned into $24 million if you had invested in their fund, which by the way, they closed down and they don't take any new investors because they're making too much freaking money. <laughs> you know what I mean, um, you know, and of course, why would you, right? Like, I don't like that's at the beginning, you want to take other people's money because, you know, you don't have that much cash. So it's like, if I have a hundred thousand or a million dollars and I'm investing it, 39% will make me, you know, $390,000. But if I got investors of a hundred million, well, now I'm making way more money, right? Cause I'm taking a fee. I'm taking a you know, cut of that. But then eventually when you get so big, you're like, well, I don't want you eating into my returns. So now I'm just going to do this myself and, you know, screw you guys. That's basically what happened with these guys. Uh, they're a closed off fund now uh, for the medallion fund. They still have other funds out there, which they manage people's money for, but not this kind of returns, right? This is this is purely internal. Um, if you want to read about these guys, it's a fascinating story. Uh, Jim Simmons is the guy that created this fund. I'm going to put this link into the chat as well. Uh, it's a really fascinating book, The Man Who Solved the Market. Um, it's about Jim Simmons and his journey. Uh, he got very good ratings, but I totally agree with that. Um, basically talks about this guy. He's, he was... Uh, a math student or a math professor, very smart dude in 1970s, 1980s. That's what it took to build this kind of thing back then. Computers were so brand new that you needed a PhD to make, you know, crypto, to make algorithms, right? Uh, to that trade of stocks, like you couldn't do it without a PhD. Uh, these days, it's much simpler, and I'll show you how to do this yourself. We have some technology that's going to help you and make it easier for you. Uh, we spent three years developing this technology that you could use uh, to do this easier. Um, but these guys in the 1970s, they, they really spent a lot of time building this stuff out. And at the beginning, it was like really hard for them to figure it out. It, was, it took like a year or two and, you know, the struggling and they weren't making money. But then eventually they started hitting their stride. They started getting some really good ideas. And next thing you know, these guys, they're making so much freaking money, 39% a year returns. And imagine 39% a year and also you're investing other people's money. So you're getting a cut of a hundred million dollars of other people's money. These guys are, are making so much cash that they're buying mansions and forgetting about them. There's literally inside the story. There's one, one of their employees, one of the guys that work there, he literally bought like this giant mansion somewhere in New Jersey. Right. And they're like, and the government came after him and said, what the hell is this house doing here? And what's wrong with this? And he's like, what? I have a house there. It's like, it's like a $10 million house. I just forgot about. Right. Um, that's how much money these guys are making. It's absolutely insane. You know, these these hedge funds are making a killing in this space, right? Uh, they've been doing it with stocks. They've been doing it with options. They've been doing it with futures. And now they're getting into the crypto space as well. You might have heard recently Citadel. Um, There's another one of these companies like this that's getting into the crypto space because there's so much money to be made in this. It's a brand new market. It is it is virgin, uh, <laughs> virgin to the touch. So they're like ready to make lots of money through this stuff. Stock market is much, it's it's still, you can still make money in, in uh, using algorithms in the stock market, but it's much harder than crypto. Crypto is just like this open space where there's so many opportunities, it's crazy. Um, so anyways, really good book, check it out. Um, and, and let me answer a question here. So uh, Bratton says, um, there are a few funds gave negative returns uh, in 2020. Yeah, their quant model got COVID surprised maybe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't work every single year. You know, things go up and down, right? COVID, COVID is one of those things that kind of will surprise a lot of a lot of people. Um, we actually made a ton of money during COVID. <laughs> 2020 was a great year for me, I'll tell you that much. 
Uh, we made money on the way down because we bought put options. Uh, we made money on the way up because we bought Tesla on the way up. This was a good 2020 was an amazing year. Uh, absolutely love that year for investing. Um, yeah, these funds turned positive again in 2021. Not surprising. Um, so sometimes things like this will throw off funds like this, but it's, you know, again, this is, this is over, we're talking about over a long period of time. You know, even if you have a blip for one year, you're still doing extremely well. Uh, so anyway, so Renaissance Technology is one of them. They're probably one of the, the top guys in the space, but they're not the only ones make a lot of money in this. Uh, Two Sigma, making tons of money. Last time I checked, they manage $80 billion in assets. I met some people from here, um, really smart dudes making some really, really cool stuff. They don't lose money. They just constantly beat the market regularly. Uh, it's amazing how much money they make. Citadel, these guys do a lot of high frequency trading. They're getting into crypto space right now, specifically around arbitrage. Uh, they're getting into the space, which makes sense. There's a lot of money to be made there. Uh, Bridgewater, the, this is run by Ray Dalio. You might have heard of him. Um, he created, he wrote a book recently. He's become quite famous. Um, a lot of people that um, hate rich people <laughs> tend to hate on him. I don't know why, whatever. Um, but he is a very successful hedge fund manager and has done a very, very good job investing and is actually teaching a lot of people how to do this stuff lately. They do a lot of data science and they've been very, they, I think they're the biggest hedge fund in the world, actually. $138 billion last time I checked. Uh, and then we have another one here, D.E. Shaw, also another crypto, or sorry, not crypto. Um, well, I, actually, they are in crypto too, but um, uh, an algorithmic trading fund. Right, last time I checked, they had 50 billion assets. Um, and these guys are actually really interesting. Um, you, you probably know someone that worked here back in the day. Um, so there's a story of D.E. Shaw. Someone very famous named uh, Jeff Bezos he used to work at this company. He was an analyst for him when he was in his 20s. Um, that's basically where he got the idea for Amazon, right? He used to work at D.E. Shaw. They had a lot of data there. He helped them write these algorithms. He helped them write the software code to basically trade stocks and, and, all, and options, all kind of stuff. They, did, they were doing very well and paying him a lot of money, by the way. Um, but based on all the data that he was looking at, he said, you know what, I want to take a stab at making my own company, right? He saw the way that the internet was growing. He saw the internet growing at, uh, you know, what are, what was it, doubling every year or, or doing, doing 5X every year, some ridiculous number like that. And he's like, the internet sounds like a great thing to get into. Let me get into that. And he built Amazon and the rest is history. Built some very amazing company. So anyways, point is when you're building this kind of stuff, when you're building algorithms, you're in very good company. Lots of money thrown around this space. Some of the richest people in the world um, either work in this space or have worked in this space. It's a very, very good place for you to be. So if you want to learn how to make money, this is a very good place to be. All right. All right. So uh, let's talk about uh, a little bit about what we do in this space. Right. So we've talked about algorithmic trading in general. Let's talk about what we do here. Right. So. Uh, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about, about our library. We've developed a piece of code over the past three years uh, that allows you to tr uh, trade or back test. Uh, if you don't know what back testing is, it's simulating trading over a period of time. So if I want to back test my strategy, um, I could say I have a strategy where I buy the stock market when it falls more than 20% and I sell when it's up by more or using some sort of technical analysis or whatever my strategy is. I'm going to see what would that have done over the past 20 years? How would it have performed, right? That's a back test, okay? So we have this, uh, this software that can do this for stocks, for options, for futures, and for crypto, right? Um, you know, many different exchanges. We make it very easy for you to build this sort of stuff. We spent a lot of time and energy and, and money, actually, uh, building some really good software that makes it easy for you guys to build this stuff out. Um, you can trade with Coinbase Binance, uh, KuCoin, we're going to be adding a lot more uh, soon. Uh, we also have Alpaca in there, which is uh, not, you know, um, KuCoin or, or an Alpaca, right? I think Interactive Brokers uh, pretty soon as well. Um, we trade, it's tra trading 24 hours. We can get trading intervals as low as one second. We're actually going to make that even faster soon. So you can do sub one second trades if you need to. Um, trading multiple strategies and several different customer portfolios if you want. Uh, you can get historical data. Uh, you could, you know, do all sorts of stuff and make, and this is very easy for you to use. So even if you don't know how to code, 
we're trying to make this as simple as possible so that when you come in, you can build a strategy. I mean, I talk to people that like barely know how to use computers and they're able to build algorithms. I mean, so, you know, if you know how to use a computer, I'm sure you can build this sort of thing. If you're good with, with us, um, with software, if you've coded before, I'm willing to bet you could build some really, really cool stuff. And I love students like that. So you build some amazing things. Um, so there's a question here, Tony, uh, if I have a bot developed for Forex, can I rewrite the code in Python? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, you could do that. Yeah, if you want uh, some help with that, we could actually talk about how to do that as well, All right? You can definitely do that sort of thing. Cool, okay, so that's our library. Um, now let's show you uh, let's show you that kind of fun stuff. This is this is always the fun part. So I'm going to show you a couple of demos. All right, so there's four demos I'm going to show you today. First one is a custom ETF, um, which will show you like if you want to build. A, and, and there's actually businesses that do this. Like you could start your own hedge fund if you took this class and the trading as a business class that we have both of us together. You would basically learn how to build a crypto hedge fund and how to register with SEC and all that sort of stuff and actually start selling this stuff for people to invest, to invest in. There's actually a lot of money in just building ETFs. Uh, so we'll show you how to build that sort of thing. Uh, we'll talk about mean reversion, which is a very simple way of making quite a bit of money, very good returns. Uh, I'll show you momentum, um, which is uh, kind of, you know, show, showing off our technology a little bit and what we can do with it. Uh, and then also I'll show you uh, our social media trading bot, which is actually very fun to watch and very cool. Uh, and I'll show you how that all works as well. Okay. So let's start off with the, the custom ETF strategy. Okay. So here is a graph of it, but I'll actually run the, the back test with you. Here's some of this Python code and we'll show you how this works. And I'll actually walk you through how all this works here. Um, step by step when you go through the class. Uh, you actually get access to this code too, so you don't even have to code at all. You can just literally take our algorithms and use them as is, right? Uh, but here's a pretty simple strategy. It invests in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, 33% in each, right? Uh, and automatically rebalances, which is actually very important. Um, for those of you that don't have a finance background, rebalancing is extremely important when you're um when you're investing it's not enough to go and say i'm going to buy all three litecoin bitcoin and ethereum the reason why is because they go um in different directions sometimes sometimes bitcoin is up and ethereum is not or isn't up as much or litecoin is up more or whatever um so if you're doing a rebalancing thing 33 percent each and you're constantly keeping that enforced what you're in effect doing is you're selling high and buying low automatically right which means that Bitcoin shoots up a lot, you're selling your Bitcoin and you're buying the other two, right? If Ethereum shoots up a lot, you're selling Ethereum and you're buying the other two, right? So here is uh, basically that strategy. And this is since 2021. Um, it's over the past, you know, about, about a year, right? Uh, from 2021 January to 2022 January. If you guys want me to show you different time frames, I could do that, do that too. Um, I, you know, the results are pretty much the same. I'm just doing it a year because I don't want you guys to wait forever. Uh, but here's basically all the trades that would have happened. You know, you could scroll over them whenever you, when you take our course, we'll show you how to build this sort of thing, right? Uh, buying and selling these different stocks or, or, or crypto coins, I should say. Every transaction has happened. You could even zoom in. You can see this is what happened on each day and in what amount, right? And then here is our tear sheet, which is, what the strategy would have done over the past you know year the blue is our strategy and the yellow is bitcoin itself so if you had only invested in bitcoin you'd be up 25 percent over this time period if you had invested in this strategy you'd be up 75 percent right 77 percent specifically versus 25 percent. you would have tripled the returns for bitcoin you'd have had much much better returns in bitcoin and not only would you have better returns in bitcoin but you would have had a much better risk profile as well. So you have triple the returns, right? You know, 77% versus 26, 27%, right? Um, your worst time period, your max loss from the peak to the bottom, this is probably right here, the top to the bottom, right? You would have lost 61%-ish versus Bitcoin would have lost 53. So yeah, you're, you're a little bit more risky, but, you know, 
this extra little bit of loss, I think for triple the return is definitely worth it, right? Uh, you'll also be a little bit more volatility. You'll move up and down a little bit more, 72% versus 75. But again, you got triple the returns, right? So tiny little bit more risk for a lot more returns. So we have a sharp ratio of 0.91 versus 0.58 for uh, Bitcoin itself. You could also go through all this stuff. Here's the uh, vo um, uh, here's the volatility matched, right? You see all these different statistics on our strategy and how it performed and all the details of the sharp ratio and when it did the best and when it didn't. Here's the drawdown periods and all that. Uh, when, what months did it do the best? It, it did the worst in May. It did the best in October. Like I said, made 42% in October alone. That's crazy. Um, and you can kind of go through all those details. So every time you run a strategy, you can do a back test and see exactly. And the point of this really is so that when you're investing, oh, sorry, you know what? Actually, I just realized I am not showing you guys this. I only see the coding. Sorry, guys. I have two screens open. That's why. Um, let me bring this to you here. I'm going to have to go over this again. All right. So let's do this one more time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I didn't. I, I, there's two screens. I'm not used to this. Um, I've been traveling so much. I was I was in uh, in Mexico and all these. I travel a lot, actually. Um, so this is it's nice to have two screens. But here is here's the return. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so here's the return for the custom ETF strategy. Right. You can zoom in. Like I said, you can see all the trades that happened. Right. Every single buy and sell. Here's the tear sheet. As I was talking about, the blue is our strategy and how it performed, right? The benchmark is down here. This is Bitcoin. So we have triple the returns of the S&P 500, right? Or sorry, not S&P, of Bitcoin, right? Um, so triple the return of Bitcoin, right? 78% uh, versus 27%, right? The, the max drawdown, the biggest loss from here to here, pretty much. Right, is that 61% versus Bitcoin did also very badly. It actually dipped below 0%. You would have lost money here. Our strategy would have pretty much almost never lost you money this entire time. Right. The biggest loss was 60% versus 53. The volatility was 72 versus 65. Right. So slightly more risk, but for triple the amount of return, I think it's a great trade off, to be honest with you. Uh, you can see here there's the volatility matched. Right. You could see how that performance even risk adjusted. We, we beat the crap out of, out of uh, Bitcoin. Um, here's the returns. The benchmark uh, 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 Bitcoin versus us. Right. We smoked them. Right. Uh, you can see the volatility. You can see all these little statistics uh, about exactly everything that happened with your strategy. Uh, like I said, here in March was our worst month. October was our best. You get a lot of detailed information about the strategy and how it's working. So uh, really the point is here that you're going to first test out, so you're gonna build a strategy, then you're gonna test it on past data, right? How would it have done in 2020? How would it have done in 2021? How would it have done this year so far? And you know that doesn't guarantee you that it's gonna do well in the future, but it's a very strong indication, right? If you run this uh, strategy and you lost money in 2021 and 2020, uh, then maybe it's not such a good strategy, right? But if you made a ton of money like this, we're tripling the returns. I'd put some, I'd put a bet on this, you know, like let's put some money into this and let's see how this performs going forward. Because I think you could smoke uh, Bitcoin. I'm actually quite confident in that, right? Um, so there you go. So thanks for, for bringing that up, guys. Yeah, I, I put that on the wrong screen there. So yeah, so, you, so whenever you run a strategy, uh, I'll show you exactly how to do this sort of thing, how to get all your trades, how to back test and get this type of information so that you're not just trading blindly, right? It's not just, oh, I read an article and I want to buy this. No, like you actually can take this information, you can back test it and see how would it have done in the past and am I going to make money in the future because of this, right? Okay, so that's our uh, that's our custom ETF strategy. Um, I, I have here Bitcoin, BNB, I'm going to change this because this is Litecoin. Um, but in general, you can also just take what we have here, by the way, there's this code that I was showing you, right? Uh, and I'm just going to do this because it's um, OCD for things like this. <laughs> um, but uh, we have uh, we have a strategy here. You'll get access to this code along with all, look at all this day one, day two, day three, day 45, day seven, right? There's lots of code in here 
that you can literally just take, if you want to, you can just take this and just use this bot directly. Or you can modify it. You could have different assets in here and you can back test different assets. Or you can modify it so it automatically changes weights. There's a lot of really cool things that you could build, um, really, really cool strategies. So I've, I've heard of some wild and amazing things uh, and people are making lots of money doing this sort of stuff. So it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, that's the custom ETF strategy, right? Okay, here's another strategy. Let's talk about um, the reversion to the mean strategy. Okay, I'll show you the code, right? Here's the reversion to the mean. Where is it? Crypto mean reversion. This is the, this is the code in here, right? Okay, you could pick all your different uh, parameters. You could change whatever, but basically, uh, what it does is it's, it's a pretty simple strategy, but very effective. This would be very hard for you to do manually. Like you'd have to like never sleep to do this, um, but it's very effective. It's pretty simple. And if you guys know what this stuff is, uh, it uses RSI and Bollinger Bands as a confirmation, right? So it's using tactical analysis. RSI uh, is, is called, uh, is basically uh, the relative strength indicator. Um, it, the, this indicator is very high it goes up to it goes from zero to one hundred. It's uh, very high when things are considered oversold, right? So if something is shooting, if the price is going up very fast, your RSI is going to start flashing a very high number, right? If it's very low, right? If things have been falling a lot, you're going to have a very low RSI number, right? So we basically what we're doing is we're buying when RSI is low, so we're buying low, right? And we're selling when RSI is very high. So if it's gone up too quickly, we sell. If it's going down too fast, we buy, right? And then it's, we also have a confirmation with that. It's not just RSI, we're also looking at Bollinger Bands, right? Bollinger Bands, if you guys don't know, is basically follows like uh, an average, right? Follows the average of uh, any kind of uh, symbol that you're looking at and has basically one standard deviation or two standard deviations away. We're using here two standard deviations. You could change the setting if you want. It's very easy. Just change these numbers, okay? Um, and uh, basically we're using a two standard deviation. So when we go above the high Bollinger Band, that's a confirmation, right? That's saying that, you know what? This is like way overbought. People are overthinking this. Like that. Like these signals, by the way, were flashing like crazy last year. This is like, this is way overbought. We're going up way too fast. Now's the time to sell, get the hell out of, out of Bitcoin, right? Uh, and the vice versa happens when it's down. Right now, this is flashing. I, I, I haven't ran this, but I'm willing to bet this flashing right now. Buy Bitcoin, right? We're down a lot. Now's the time to buy. RSI is very low. Bollinger Band is, we're down below our lower Bollinger Band. Now's the time to buy, right? So that's all we're doing is we're using these two technicals and we're doing a confirmation between the two. Here's a back testing result. I'm not gonna run this because it takes a very long time to run the back test. Um, it's, it's a minute to minute strategy and, and I've done this over many years. Um, here it is in 2020, the blue is, oops, the blue is our strategy, the min, mean reversion strategy, and the yellow is uh, Bitcoin. You could tell, uh, not only did we beat the crap out of Bitcoin, you know, uh, 200% annualized return versus 88% annualized return, right? But also you could tell there's a lot less risk. It's not falling as much, right? So like prevents you from going through these like really negative times, right? So when Bitcoin fell like crazy, we didn't lose that much money, right? When it went up, we also went up, we made money, right? So it's a really good way to do that. Um, this is for 2020. Um, people have asked me in the past, what about other time periods? So here's another time period that I just loaded up. Again, this took a really long time to back test, so I'm not gonna run it with you guys here because uh, we'll be here for a better part of two or three hours um, but here's over another time period this is over 2021 uh, same result this is a great strategy it's very simple very effective right um, you know the Bitcoin did 26 percent we did 86 we tripled the return of Bitcoin um, we also had less risk right this is the amazing part not only are we making more money, but we're also taking less risk. You can even see it in the graph. Look at how Bitcoin is erratic all over the place, right? Like you could just see this with your naked eye. Bitcoin is shooting up like crazy and then collapsing and then shooting up and then collapsing while ours is like this nice steady, just upward trajectory, right? 
And you can see in the numbers too, our max drawdown was only 30% versus um, Bitcoin was 53. So Bitcoin was down 53% at one point. We only lost 30% in our worst time. The volatility, how much it goes up and down regularly. Ours is only 47%. Bitcoin was 64%. We are taking on less risk and tripling the returns. I think that is a great situation to be in. This is a great bot right here. Uh, this is our mean reversion bot. And again, when you join our class, uh, you're not only going to learn how to do this yourself, but you have access to this code and you can and you can use this yourself too. I'm telling you guys, it's very easy to make strategies to make money in crypto. It's crazy. Um, it's a new market. There's a lot of inconsistencies around. There's lots of ways to make a ridiculous amount of money in this stuff. So that's two of them, our, our, our custom ETF, our mean reversion. Um, now let me show you um, a little a demo of our technology. All right, I'm going to start running this. As this is going to take a little while. Um, here's our momentum strategy. I'm going to run this. So what I'm doing here is our momentum strategy. Okay, And this strategy is pretty simple. Right. Um, let me refresh myself. Um, basically, what it's doing is it's looking for momentum inside of Bitcoin. It's only trading. It's only trading Bitcoin. It's only trading it when it's shooting up. Right. So it's kind of similar to the mean reversion type thing. Not as good. The mean reversion is a lot better than this. But what I would like to show you guys is how you could use our technology to optimize your strategies. Maybe you have a strategy where you buy in one situation and then you sell in another situation, right? And this is going to be a little annoying because it's going to open up in my other browser window. But I'll bring it over to you. I'll bring it over here. So here is our first back test, right? Um, there you go. Perfect. Now it's actually adding it here. So here's our first back test. This is uh, a momentum for 10 days. So we're looking at 10 day momentum, right? As you can see, our blue, our strategy is, eh, it's not doing so well, right? Bitcoin's beating us, right? So 10 days is maybe not the best. So what this does basically is it looks over the past 10 days, has Bitcoin been up over the past 10 days? If it's up, then we invest. If it's been down, we get out, right? So it's basically like, you know, if like, for example, if we were, if we we're down right now, we're down right now, we would be exiting, right? Um, and if we're up, we'd be going in. So you can see here, there's like times where it doesn't even own it. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing different intervals, right? So here's a 10 day interval for doing the momentum over the past 10 days. It's maybe not the best. Our strategy is not doing so hot compared to Bitcoin, but 30 days is doing pretty well, right? You can see here that we're matching the returns of Bitcoin, but having much better uh, risk profile, right? Um, less half, almost half the, the max drawdown and a lower volatility. So this is giving us a better return with less risk. That's at 30 days, this is at 50 days. 50 days is not so good. And as you can tell, we're trying all these different time periods, right? We can have, imagine your strategies, right? Whatever strategy you have, is it better to invest in Bitcoin or is it better to invest in Ethereum or is it better to have a 90 day moving average or a hundred day moving average? Well, you could test all those things, right? Here I'm back testing from 2019 to 2022 over a long time period, right? This is a three year time period. How would this momentum strategy have done for 10 years, for 30 years, for 50 years, here's 70 years, 70 years is good. We beat, we beat uh, Bitcoin, right? We're beating Bitcoin in this space, right? We're also taking on less risk again, right? Which is great. We have a great sharp ratio here, right? So for 10 days, 30 days, 50 days, 70 days, we're also going to try out uh, 90 days, 110 days, 130 days. Here's all that stuff. I basically just put it all here, right? We're trying out all those different time periods. And it's very easy for us to figure out what is the optimal thing for us to do. Should we be doing 10 days or 30? Should we like, what is the best time period to do this, right? This is the kind of thing that you could do with computers that you wouldn't be able to do manually, right? This would be very hard for you to do yourself, right? Because you'd have to pull out Excel and try all these different things, right? But with technology using, especially the, the technology that we provide to you, and we've spent a lot of time building it, um, really a lot of time, <laughs> 
Um, this stuff will really make your lives a lot easier and help you get around a lot of these things. And help you figure out the most optimal way to invest. All right, so I'll let this thing run for a little bit longer. We have the 90 day, we're gonna do the 110, All right? And this showed up on my other monitor. I guess I have to have this window open. This is the 110, All right? So you can see here, this is, this is 10 days. This is 30 days. This is 50 days. This is 70. This is 90. This is 110. And you know, we could see what's the best specific date range, right? How, what period do we want to do this over, right? Notice that a lot of these still have pretty good risk profiles. So they're all not that bad, right? Um, but definitely some are much better than others. Like I could tell here, if we want, if I want to invest in this, I'd be thinking about the 30 day or I'd be thinking about the 70 day, right? 70 day seems like an optimal time period, right? As the best sharp ratio, has the best returns, 70 days seems like the right way to go, right? Here's 130. Hey, this is not, not a very good thing. If you're doing 130 day momentum, probably not the best thing to do. And here is now also a summary of all this. You can see here, and this is what you want to do whenever, and, and, and I teach this in, in our algo trading class and our crypto trading class as well. When you do this kind of back testing, you wanna see a pattern like this, right? You wanna see it goes up and then goes down, right? So we could see that the optimal time is somewhere around here, right? Around here, around here, this could be a fluke, the 50 days we could even do in between, we could do 40, we could do uh, 60 to get more bullet po more points in here. We can figure out what is the optimal time for us to be doing our momentum over, right? This is something again that would be very, very difficult for you to do um, manually. You'd have to be doing a lot of Excel work to figure this stuff out for any one of your strategies, right? We make it easy for you using our tech. Right? I'm going to close all that up. I'm going to check to see also. Uh, there we go. Okay, so no, no uh, comments right now. Okay, cool. All right, so that's our other strategy. That's our momentum strategy. So you can see uh, how you can optimize your strategies to do these things. Now, the last one I'm going to show you, and this one's really fun. Um, we just built this one out recently. This is a really cool one to see. Uh, so a social media trading strategy. Okay? So I'm going to show you this on Discord just because it's, it's really interactive and you can see this sort of thing. But we could easily do this with other things as well. So... Basically, what this is, is it's a bot is going to be reading the news or reading Twitter or reading Telegram or reading Discord or reading Reddit, right? Uh, and going through all these different messages that people send and trying to figure out, is it something that we should be buying or not, right? So some examples of this is if you're following like influencers, right? someone like Elon Musk or Donald Trump when he was on, on Twitter, when they tweet things, things move, right? Um, Elon Musk, when he tweeted, every time he tweeted about Do Dogecoin, it's shooting through the roof. Imagine you had a bot that just listened to that, right? Oh, he mentioned Dogecoin. Let's trade that. Let's make some money. You would have made a ton of money off that simply listening to his Twitter account, right? Uh, same thing with Donald Trump. This guy tweets about... Um, you know, that, that, uh, what's that new social network that he made, you know, truth media or whatever it's called. Um, he tweets about that and the stock price shoots up 300% in two days, right? Like, I mean, you could have a bot that's just listening to all these influencers and automatically buying things that they say, because even if they're wrong, they have so many followers that when they say something, the price tends to go up, especially when it's positive or negative, they, it could go the opposite direction as well. You could be monitoring both, right? Uh, you can also be listening to like messaging channels, right? You be listening to like paid Discord or Telegram channels where people are talking about, oh, I think I should be buying this stock or this coin or whatever. You could be listening into that and automatically buying things as people say them. Who has the time to listen to this stuff all day long? Honestly, like, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of things I'm building. I love having these bots are just constantly listening to these things and doing it for me, right? Um, you can also pay attention to like social trends. Like, for example, on Reddit, you can pay attention to Wall Street bets. You know, GameStop and AMC happen a lot because of Wall Street bets. If you had a bot that simply listened to those channels on Reddit, 
you would have made a ton of money just because there's all this people talking about this stuff, just buy what they're saying to do, right? So there's a lot of different things that you do with this, right? But let me show you like a really simple example, right? So I'm going to open up our uh, Discord bot, okay? And I'm going to be using our private channel because I want to be spamming our stuff, right? I'm going to run this bot and you'll see some pretty cool stuff happen here, right? So let me just make sure our settings are correct. Yes, okay. So I'm going to run this bot here. And what you'll see, and actually I'll open up also Alpaca. That's on here. I'll open up Alpaca so you can kind of, you can see these trades actually happening live. I have accounts everywhere. This is one of our accounts. Fill in my password. All right, so you'll see here, I'm gonna go into our paper trading because um, I wanna show you a nice little demo. All right. So here's an account, paper trading. This is fake money, so don't get super excited. Um, not not like it's a big account anyways, but um, you know, 71K, you know, here here's an account. This is, I don't know why this dropped. It's, we didn't have anything in there. It's a weird bug with them. But um, here's an account, there's some money in here. I'm gonna run this bot. And I'm going to go into his channel, right? So here uh, we have a bot running, okay? It's running there. And I'm going to type in, I love Bitcoin, right? It's now interpreting that I said I love it. It thinks it's a good thing. So when we go in here, it automatically bought Bitcoin, right? I have it set up to buy exactly half of all the, the things that I have inside of this account, right? So um, there's seventy-one thousand dollars in here. It's buying thirty-five thousand five thirty-seven dollars of Bitcoin right here. Okay, it's automatically bought that because I, I mentioned Bitcoin, right? If I go in here and I type in "I love Ethereum," and I mention Ethereum, now what it did? It says, "Okay, well, you seem to equally love both of them, right?" So let's split that up. So now we have half of that. 35,000 in Bitcoin and half in Ethereum, right? So imagine you're like in a Telegram channel or you're listening to Reddit or something like that. You can go through literally thousands of messages from different influencers, from different Reddit channels, from different discords, from different Telegrams, all that stuff combined and really just buying what people think is good enough, right? Uh, what if I say, I, I sort of like Litecoin, right? LTC. Notice as synonyms for that and all that too. We'll see here that you'll actually end up buying a little bit of Litecoin too, all right? So split it up. Well, I said I loved Ethereum, so it's 14,000, and I loved Bitcoin, so it's 14,000, but I liked Litecoin, right? So it's a little bit less than the others, right? What if someone came along and said, I hate Bitcoin, right? Or Bitcoin sucks, right? Okay. Now all of a sudden, this is going to get cut down. You'll see Bitcoin is now down to $4,000 only, right? So this is something, this is a bot that's constantly going to be listening to social channels, right? It could be listening to Elon Musk speaking, we listen to Donald Trump speaking, could be listening to um, your favorite influencer, name one, right? Name who's your favorite stock or crypto influencer. We could be listening to their Twitter feeds. You could be listening to their Instagrams. We could be listening to your favorite Discord channel that you're a part of, Maybe you have a group of friends, they talk about stocks, right? Oh, I love this stock. This thing's going to the moon. It will automatically go and buy that, right? Very cool bot. Um, I could tell you, I've seen a lot of people uh, that have gone through our courses that have made a lot, a lot of money doing this sort of thing. Um, I could tell you one student in particular, and he's on our Discord, and you guys should definitely join our Discord. Um, but one of the guys uh, that took our class a while back, he was telling me he's made 500% in the past year just doing this, right? Basically just listening to influencers when they mention a stock and they say it's something good, just go off and buy it. That's it, 
right? And hold on to it for a couple hours and then sell it at the end, right? Because there's going to be a big pop in the value of the stock. And then you sell it, you get your profit and you exit and that's it. And that made him four or 500% in a year. <laughs> like that's that one strategy alone, right? Very cool stuff. Um, honestly, it's a brand new bot that we just built. I'm very excited to show it off. I think it's really, really cool. Um, this is for Discord. We do the same thing for Reddit. We do the same thing for Twitter. We do the same thing in any social channel with any message you're getting, emails, whatever. We'll be listening in to news and just trading off of that news or off of that uh, social sentiment, right? A very cool way to make money. Right. Let me stop this bot now. Okay, cool. So uh, that's a demo of a couple of our bots. We have quite a bit more than just this, but you know, I, I don't want to keep you guys for, it's been over an hour already, so I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Um, but if you join our courses, you get access to all this code. You get you learn about how all this stuff works, how you can modify it, and make it do exactly what you want it to do, back test it, make sure that's making you a ton of money uh, in the past, so you make sure you make money in the future. A very cool way to to run all this stuff, all right? Um, so uh, so to kind of summarize, there's a couple uh, there's a couple other things you could do too. Uh, a lot of people care about technical analysis, so we'll teach you how to do a lot of technical analysis, build bots around this, and honestly, like very smart bots. Um, you know, building simple technical analysis bots is pretty easy. Building stuff that factors in social sentiment, all that kind of stuff is is more complex and we'll show you how to build that kind of stuff. It's really not that hard given our technology. Uh, we'll show you how to build some really, really cool things uh, for technical analysis and whatnot. Uh, we'll also show you how to get custom feeds in. There's a really cool website, for example, called Lunar Crush that pays attention to uh, the social stat standing of every coin. Do you wanna invest in the ones that have the best social standing? Which small coins are up and coming? You can connect to their API and automatically trade all this stuff. There's so much data out there. It's crazy how much data is available uh, for all these all this crypto stuff. You get access to all those things, and we'll show you how to do all that sort of stuff. There's so much money to be made in this, guys. Uh, and very, very cool stuff. I love the ideas that everyone comes up with. I actually really love teaching this class because um, really I feel, I feel like I learn a lot from you guys too, actually. Um, all these different ideas and things that come up. Um, so, okay, so that's, that's pretty much uh, it for, for our demo for today. But let me show you our course, if you guys are interested in learning more, if you want to take this to the next step and really learn how to build this stuff, get access to all this code, uh, run these strategies yourself, uh, learn how to modify these strategies, learn how to build even some cooler stuff. If you guys join our courses, we actually, we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well, where we can actually help you build some of these crazy ideas that you have. And I love these crazy ideas because there's some really cool stuff out there. Uh, here's the full course, if you guys want to keep learning. Uh, I'm going to put this into our chat so you can actually access this as well. All right? It's a course is called Crypto Trading Using Algorithms. You can read about the course description here. Um, it's a lot of what we talked about. You know, why do you want to invest in crypto? Why do you want to use algorithms? Right. Uh, and let me go through the curriculum because I think that's probably something that you guys care about a lot. It's an eight week long course. Right. So kind of like what we did today, but we're going to get really into the details right? Uh, we're going to get into how, how do you uh, code in Python? If you don't know how to do that, we'll go quick, quick run through of that. Uh, and then we're going to give you lots and lots of code. We're going to show you how to back test. We're going to show you how to, how to uh, do machine learning. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do um, all the stuff that we did today. You're going to get access to all that code and learn how to do all that stuff in intricate detail. Um, but basically it's three parts, eight weeks. Part one is the fundamentals. Right, so week one is just of course an introduction. You set up your system, make sure that your computer is working properly, all that kind of stuff. You get to know other people in the course. It's a very social course. A lot of people end up working together on projects. So there's a lot of introductions there. Uh, week two is a quick Python introduction. If you've never coded Python before, we will teach you that in uh, basically the one class. Um, not gonna lie, you're gonna have to do a little bit of practice outside of that as well, of course. Uh, but we'll run through kind of the most important stuff in Python in that one day. You don't need to be a Python expert to do this stuff. Um, honestly, it's not very hard coding. It's more involved in trying and testing new things. So we'll run through the stuff that you need to know uh, for, for coding. We go through it quickly. 
Uh, then we go through uh, week three, intermediate Python. And by the end of week three, uh, we've actually changed this a little bit. Uh, by the end of week three, you actually have LumiBot set up on your computer and you're going to start running some trades by week three. Okay, we're gonna connect to a brokerage and you're gonna run some trades in week three. Okay. Um, part two is week four and five. Uh, so week four, we really need to talk a lot about setting up your crypto bot, connecting to all these different exchanges, connect to Alpaca, connect to KuCoin, how do you do all that stuff, running some trades. We want to, by week four, I want to make sure that everyone has a bot up and running, trading for them. Um, you could run this thing on your computer automatically 24-7. Um, by week four, you're going to have that set up and connected to your broker and all that. Okay? Week five, we talk about back testing. Where do you get data for back testing? How do you run this stuff? What are the gotchas, right? We go through all the different back testing and show you some cool strategies on, um, you know, that you can actually back test yourself and how you modify this and do it yourself. Um, and then part three is uh, week six through eight. Um, so week six, we're gonna talk about a few different strategies. We'll show you this uh, custom ETF bot. We'll show you that technical analysis bot, which is that um, mean reversion bot. We'll show you both of those in week six, how they work, how you can modify them, all the details behind it. They're gonna get access to that code as well. Week seven, we're gonna show you how to build a social media bot that connects to Discord or Telegram or um, uh, you know anything else really, Reddit, Twitter, you know, we could connect to all that stuff, right? And then week eight, we're gonna teach you how to do machine learning from crypto. Um, lots of money to be made there. You know, that article I showed you earlier today um, where Bloomberg is talking about if you had only invested when the stock market closed, well, I mean, if you ran a machine learning bot, it could just do that for you automatically. It's just smart enough to figure that out if you give it the right data. Um, really, really cool stuff. By the end of this eight-week course, you're going to have a lot of code. You're going to have working bots. You're going to have things trading for you automatically. You're going to be back testing things. And hopefully by the end of week eight, you will have made some good money as well. Right. Uh, I can't guarantee that because I don't know what you're going to do with this stuff. Um, but I could tell you there's some of our students that have ran bots that actually have made quite a bit of money before the end of week eight uh, running some of these strategies themselves. Right. So that's our curriculum. Um, there are three different plans that you could learn this uh, through. We have a self directed plan, which is uh, basically you get access to all the video recordings of all the things that happened. This is recording, it's self-paced, you take it at your own time, right? Um, but it is a recording, right? Um, you get access to our community and you get access to uh, some Q&A. We, we can get on video calls with you and help you out, out, or specifically I'm teaching this class, so you can get on some calls with me and, and, and get some help with wherever you're stuck, right? But it is uh, at your own pace and you're watching these videos, right? Um, then our most popular plan by far, actually, you know what, this is actually our two, project help tutoring is becoming our most popular, actually, to, to say, to, to, to be honest. Um, but uh, what used to be our most popular plan is our live classes plan. Uh, you get access to everything in self-directed, right? So you get access to all the course recordings, you get access to all the code, you get access to our community of all these other people have built this for you, right? Um, and you get this Q&A. But you get more hours with Q&A, so we'll spend a lot of time with you on the phone if we need to, um, either myself or you can talk to some of our developers, right? Um, but these are also be live classes. And live classes are awesome, right? People love the live classes because you're not just watching a video. I don't know about you, but I watch some YouTube sometimes. It's like, you know, I watch it and it's fun. And like, you know, if, if it's something you're excited about, you'll still watch it and, and get a lot out of it. But the live is so much better, right? The live, I've, I've taken some, I've taken some of our classes. I've taken our blockchain class. Live is the best, right? Because you, you have to show up, first of all, at a specific time. So it kind of keeps you steady and keeps you on that pace. Um, if you have any questions, you get asked throughout. We do a lot of screen sharing. So if, if it's not working for you and you don't know what's happening, we can share screens with you and figure out what is going on, right? So you get really a lot out of it in this live class environment. It's, it's kind of like you actually sitting in on a class. You need some help, we'll walk over and I'll help you out with whatever you're going through, right? Plus you get access to the, the recordings, plus you get access to all the, all, the, um, all the code, plus you get access to our community, right? Um, and the live classes, also another really good thing, 
if uh, you ever need to retake it, which sometimes people do, right? You can retake it again for free. You could, then you have access to live classes forever when you take our live classes. Right? So that's our self-directed, our live classes. Then we have our project help and tutoring plan. And this one's getting really popular, guys. I don't know what it is about crypto, but people love this plan for crypto. We've had a lot of people buy these things recently. Um, basically, our project help and tutoring plan is everything above, right? You get access to the code. You get access to our community. Uh, we have a private Discord community and, and a dis discussion hour. You get access to all that stuff. You, you're part of the live classes. You get retake the live classes as much as you want, right? But also on top of that, you get access to our uh, developers. So if you want us to build code for you, write code for you, we will do that with this plan, right? If you take our project help tutoring plan, we will spend lots and lots of time with you, making sure you understand the material, uh, writing software code for you, if that's what we have to do. We will do a lot of things for you to make sure that you get this material, that you get everything that you need out of this course, right? And you get access to everything else that we talked about, okay? Here's the pricing for those three different courses, right? Our self-directed, again, which is our video library. Um, you get access to our community. You get access to all of our code. It's uh, 1598 around 1600 bucks, right? Um, and basically, um, you can pay for this over, you can pay this all up front if you want, or you can have a three or five month payment plan, right? So you don't have to pay this all up front. For the live classes, which again, used to be our most popular plan, um, now our project help tutoring is our most popular plan, um, just more, more recently. Um, there you go. Let's see if uh, so I answered my question. Okay. I guess you're asking about pricing. So that's good. Um, so, uh, crypto, uh, the, the live classes, this, you get to join the class live. Um, you know, if you get stuck anywhere during the class, we do these things together. We do like workshops and stuff, really great program. Um, this one's 3,695. Um, again, there's a three and a five month payment plan. If you need to, you don't have to pay this all up front. Um, you know, you pay this out over a period of time. And then our project help and tutoring plan is uh, around 5,300 bucks. Uh, this has become very popular lately. Um, we have a team of developers ready for you. If you want to have a specific strategy in mind, and a lot of people do, you've been making some good money trading or doing some specific things. We can actually get our developers to build that for you. Uh, along with taking the classes, you can get that here, right? And that's here. And again, three to five months came from. Jose asked, what time is the live class? Great question. Uh, I'm going to, I think that's actually the next thing I'm talking about. It is perfect timing. So thank you for asking, Jose. Um, so next class uh, for the live classes starts in July. Uh, it's on July 27th, right, is when the class starts. Registration closes July 20th. It's an eight week long course, excluding holidays. I don't know if there's any holidays around there. Maybe Labor Day. Yeah, probably Labor Day, so we'll probably skip Labor Day um, if that falls around the class. Um, it's, uh, we recommend eight to 12 hours per week, but it really depends kind of on, on your skill level and how much you wanna put in. You don't have to put in that much time. You can put in more, you can put in less. Uh, there's gonna be every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time or 5 p.m. Pacific. Right, so we'll meet every day for eight weeks. We'll go through these lectures. If you need extra help, you can uh, get on a call with me. You have that link where you can actually uh, get on a call. We'll walk through if you're, if you're, something's not working with your computer or if you have some specific question about you know something we covered or if you have your own thing that you wanna build, we can get together on a call and I can help you out. I can tell you one of our students, uh, one of my students, uh, Jenna, right? Um, she's going to be, I'm going to have a call with her later this week. She's building out a specific strategy that's using tactical analysis and a few other things. Uh, so I'm basically helping her build her stuff, right? And that's the kind of support you can get from this. Uh, we'll basically sit down and make sure that you get what you need out of this course. Uh, the lectures are usually about two hours per week, right? So eight weeks, two hours per week, and then uh, whatever other time you need throughout, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one time or through Discord, if you have some questions. Um, and again, you could retake this class as many times as you want. We only have the July class up right now, but we'll probably have another one that starts in like September as well, if that date makes more sense for you, or if you need to retake it or want to retake it for whatever reason. Also, keep in mind, we do have a special going on right now 
You can save 20% right now using this coupon code. And I'm going to put this into the chat. Okay, so um, if you want to save 20%, then you could use this coupon code and you can save 20% by uh, before June 20th, which is coming up really soon, actually, uh, in about a week. Uh, so if you guys want to save some money, you can save 20% in the next week um, using this code right here, all right? Uh, and the, and the, I got a chat here, know the part about hiring someone to develop my bots for me. Yeah, if, if you want us to develop bots for you, that is definitely something that we do. Our project help tutoring plan, you can go through, learn this stuff, and we'll build it for you. We also just do bot development independently as well. So if that's something that you're looking for, uh, looking to do, we can absolutely do that for you. Um, I mean, this is, this is what we do all day long, you know? I love building bots. Um, you can read about a little bit more about myself here. This talks a little bit about Voyager. I feel like I need to edit this. This wasn't written by me. <laughs> um, and then you could also read and watch some testimonials from some of our past students here. So don't take my word for it. We have a lot of happy customers. We pride ourselves on that. Honestly, uh, if you ask some of our students, go into our Discord, you know, we bend over backwards for our students. I will do whatever the hell it takes to make sure that you guys are happy and you build some great bots. Uh, we actually even have a money back guarantee as well if you need that, right? Not a lot of people ask for it. There are a lot of, we have ha very happy customers. Um, and you could watch uh, these reviews here uh, by a lot of different people. Uh, Agim didn't know how to code before he came to us, right? So we learned how to code through this and it's built some really cool stuff. Renee knew how to code, so does Tyan, right? And you can learn about the things that they've built, um, but you can watch all these different reviews and see um, for yourself what, what these guys thought, you know, again, don't take my word for it, all right? Cool, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you see the link there, um, I put that in the chat. Uh, you see the coupon code to save you 20%, right? And uh, and yeah, and that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, do you have any other questions for me? I'll leave the floor open for a little while. It's been a pleasure having you guys here. You guys have been asking some great questions, very involved, I love this. As you can tell, I love building these bots. Um, I'm actually having a conversation with a friend tomorrow about building an arbitrage bot where we think we can make like a thousand thousand percent per transaction. He's showing me these crazy stats where you put in like 50 bucks and you can get back $10,000, not every single time, right? Um, but potentially making some really, really good money building bots like this. Um, so I'm very excited for that conversation. We're, we're planning on building some of this stuff out for a hedge fund. But anyways, lots of really cool stuff going on here. I think there's so much money to be made. Um, all you need to do is, you know, learn how to code, right? It's, it is, it is a little bit of effort. I'm not going to lie. You know, all, you know, all things in life that are worth anything, take a little bit of effort. Uh, but if you sit down and you learn how to code and you learn how to build your bots, I mean, you know, you could build, you can make some really good money. You can really get some great stuff out of this. Right. So, um, again, I'll leave this open to questions. I'm going to wait a little bit longer because I know there's a bit of a delay um, between me speaking and uh, you guys hearing it. So it might take some time for you guys to write out your questions. But it would be awesome to see you guys in the class. Um, our class is starting soon, next month. Um, you have that discount. You save money if you sign up in the next week. Um, honestly, I love teaching this class. I love teaching it not only because it's something that I love to do. We, we have a lot of boss that we run ourselves and we make some good money off of. Um, but also, I just I, I love learning from you guys. I mean, I feel like teaching this class over the past few years like taught me a lot. <laughs> it taught me about all these different strategies that you guys have come up with. I feel like my brain is filled with all these different ideas, um, and we're executing on them quite well. I'm just trying to keep growing. Okay. All right. So I'm not seeing any uh, questions put out. But I will tell you, and, and we'll go to uh, this circle. Let me know about circle.com. I'll put this into the chat as well. If you guys have any questions, you know, you guys can come on to, let me see our live stream there. You guys can come to our, and here is, here's all of our events, by the way list of events we have other events coming up we're doing i'm doing also a webinar tomorrow 
uh, teaching a class like this on algorithmic trading, which is going to be all about doing this for stocks and options and things like that. Um, very similar technology, similar kind of talk, but in, in different uh, different assets. We also have our training as a business uh, class on Thursday, uh, which is going to be taught by Guy Porter, a guy that's been uh, a guy a guy named Guy uh, that's been teaching or not teaching. He's been managing money for uh, over thirty years now, right? Um, I'm going to RSVP to this now too while we're on this. Yeah, boom. Um, I'm going to be there anyways, but just to let people know. Um, but uh, this is going to be a very interesting discussion as well about how he manages money for people and how he's made literally millions of dollars for people uh, managing stuff. He's also going to teach you how to build your own hedge fund in, uh, in this uh, class as well. Uh, so a lot of really cool stuff coming up. So make sure you sign up to our other events. And if you have any questions around anything that's happened here, feel free to email me. Feel free to send me a message on Discord. Um, or message here on our circle. And uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you very much for being part of this. It's been a pleasure. And I hope to see you guys in our class. All right. Have a good night, guys.